such a nice ball. In the beginning, we felt our success could only be measured in inches, and we'll never lose that drive to go big. But there's so much more to it now. It's about friendships. It's about putting a smile on someone's face and giving them their chance to be a hunter. That's something to be proud of. Being a hunter, the anticipation, the adrenaline, the journey, and the inevitable fact that you cannot control the outcome and the mystery that comes with that, there's nothing else like it. It's who we want to be. It's how we want to live our lives. And besides family, it's what we live for. He is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Look at the brown times. Oh, he's so wicked. Maybe. He just stood up and looked the other way. The moment we've been waiting for for so long. Better do it. Stealth Cam proudly presents Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. Mommy's gonna hunt an elk. I will. Otto, nice yeah. to meet you. Hi. Eddie. Eddie. Nice to meet you. Jason. Jason. Levi. Right. <laughs> How's it going, brother? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. One year ago, standing in the same parking spot with total strangers, and now on this day, I was introducing my wife to old friends, Shane and Jason Palmer and their wonderful families, the team that makes Saddle Axe Outfitters what it is. That's Richie, the cameraman. Hey. <laughs> Kelsey, she's got the personality, I got the looks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited we are. That's good. Finally got to meet Shane and his family, and I've heard so many things about him, and everything seems to be true so far. Super excited. Cinching up the pack string and double checking our gear list before heading into camp, we were riding down the same trail as the year before, but we were so much farther ahead. The friendships and now knowing what to expect, partnered with the anticipation of my wife getting to experience a world-class adventure with such great people. The whole way in, you couldn't wipe the smile off my face. As happy as we were riding in, we need to address the fact that everyone has a skeleton in the closet. For Kelsey and I, there's no denying it's elk. We've had incredible opportunities in some of the premier spots around North America, and we have yet to capture a perfect story on camera for ourselves. Kelsey's had this same anticipation so many times in a row, only to be heartbroken time and again. It's easy to see why, when you're normally supposed to be overwhelmed with joy at the chance. Instead, she braces herself for pain, and there's one person that can understand her pain very well, and that's me. Last year on this same hunt, Shane called in my dream bull, and at 48 yards, I watched my nocturnal drift just barely over his back. It felt like losing game seven by one goal after hitting the post with a minute left. But no matter our track record, riding in on this hunt, we had new hope. And that's the great thing about hunting. You never know what lies ahead. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Conquest Sense, the makers of Evercom, Limb Saver, products that work, 10 Point Crossbow Technologies, there is no substitute, Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology, Gwincher and Vortex Optics. It's early. Very early, yeah this is but we must be hunting huge elk because Kelsey is raring to go. But that's beside the point right now. We're eating French toast, which is one of my favorite breakfasts. And every single night last year, every morning, we ate incredible meals. And it's all thanks to Veronica. 
Shane's daughter. I just want to point out right now, this girl is a hardcore hunter. She's an incredible cook. She's up at four every single morning. And, wait for it, she's single, everybody. <laughs> Is there any young men out there around 20 years of age that are rich, good looking, <laughs> can do more push ups than my cameraman Richie in a row? They might be worthy of this young lady right here. Our awesome little cook Veronica wasn't the only one in camp that was good at her job. Her dad Shane is the absolute king of calling out. I'm willing to bet he was born with a reed in his mouth. On our way out on day one, we set up stealth cams on every wallow we passed, hoping to get pics of rutting bulls. And we didn't make it far before a bull broke the silence right above us. We just heard a bull screaming from the horses. the other way. <gasps> How exciting is that? Give me that tag. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, I'm so jealous. I should have got her to shoot that bye 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 so I could be hunting. I knew if he was a six, like a good boy, you would have been dead. Like I just watched him come right down beside you. Yeah. Oh, we, it was perfect. It was so perfect. <laughs> Didn't he sound like a big Oh bull? man, he had a roar. That's what I thought. You know, there's no way he's not like a 330, yeah. 340 bull. And yeah. then I saw him when I saw him, I was like, really? Like and I thought, well maybe he's a small six, and then he turned broadside and I was like, no, he's a nice five. <laughs> yeah. But very nice dog. Oh beautiful awesome. bull. You know, usually if they're rounding up cows, they don't chuckle. They'll yeah. bugle. Yeah. As they're going, but they'll never chuckle. Like I've never had him chuckle. So I was like, no, well, he doesn't have cows. Yeah. So that was good. <gasps> You're just like Will Primos that just shaved his beard off. I know. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to this segment of Primos brought to you by Shane Palmer. <laughs> yeah.
We barely got back on our horses after the first encounter, and we intercepted another hot bolt. This bull was so hot, he walked right in amongst our horses, and luckily he wasn't big enough, because the moment was so out of control anyways. Either way, it was awesome to see him through the timber staring us down. There was no question, the rut was in full swing. No idea what time it is, but it's the first morning before we've eaten any lunch. And we've had two encounters that blow the doors off <laughs> any encounters we had last year. You're so lucky. I know I am. <laughs> he's gonna be a good bull next year. Mm -hmm. but he's already coming back. So nice. Yeah. We continued on to a spot where we glassed and ate lunch the year before. In the midday heat, it felt so good to just lay in the sun, knowing the bulls were probably doing the same thing. Our nap time was interrupted by two bulls lighting it up right below us. Things went from 0 to 60 in a blink, and we were back in hunt mode. One of the two bulls appeared across the valley, and he was a beauty. He was only in sight for a few seconds before cutting back down into the timber where we could hear a second bull. And since neither one of these bulls were coming to us, we decided to create some offense and go in after them. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Diamond Archery, Cutting Edge Innovations, Rage, Leading the Evolution in Lethal Technology, Walker's Game Ear, Protect It or Lose It, Cooper Firearms of Montana, and Heater Bodysuit, Mossy Oak, and Nomad. Oh, my God. 
Shane, you're the most gorgeous cow elk I've ever seen in my life. Hey, Mary Lou. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, that is awesome. Oh, congrats, y'all. Oh, that is such a nice bull. Oh. He walked by and I was like, oh my God. How are we gonna move? Because like we're so yeah, close like, and then he swung around. So excited for Kels. Just over the moon, thrilled to death. Madly in love with that girl, and she deserves that. Oh. <laughs> He's right there! <laughs> oh, so proud of you. So proud. Oh. Give me a kiss. Oh my oh. gosh. He's gnarly. Why did you slam him? <laughs> Charles, he is wicked. <laughs> oh, oh, look yeah. at that. That's awesome. He is cool. He is cool. Oh, I'm pumped. <laughs> I still can't believe this happened. Kelsey, I am so jealous. And Shane, I feel like there's some favoritism going on here. That's okay, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure it is for you. <laughs> we, Richie and I and Shane spent 10 days busting our humps. But did you really? Because yes. I mean, it only took me a day. Yeah. So, I mean, I think these boys exaggerate a little bit. <laughs> what a moment. How many times do you set up to shoot a bull and it doesn't happen and your heart gets broken? And Shane, Saddleax Outfitters, he has all these stories, all these pictures on his phone. He's like, look at this one, look at that one 18 yards, 11 yards. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> he got these pictures, he bought them off some <laughs> website. <laughs> And now I believe every single thing he's told us because that it's was... It's incredible. What an incredible day. It, From yeah. start to finish. I've never had a day of hunting like this in my entire life. No. I haven't. It was crazy. Kelsey shot this bull at 14 yards with her 10 point crossbow. Made a perfect shot. We watched an nocturnal and the black eagle soar through the sky. We didn't find the end of the arrow with the rage, but this bull only went 35 yards, maybe and he's the size of a freight train. He has a huge body. Yeah. What a beautiful bull. Oh. Shane, thank you so much yeah. for the opportunity. You run a top-notch outfit here between your family and the food and the camaraderie. It's, elk hunting is one of my favorite hunts, especially in the mountains on horseback. I love horses, I love mountains, I love elk. And it's just such an adventure, but Shane also makes it like, it's kind of a home away from home feel. And we're so fortunate to come and hunt with you. Thank you, buddy. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It, it brings tears to my eyes. We listened to him rake all this bark into his brows, just out of sight, probably 40 or 50 yards away. He was ripping trees out of the ground. This, this beautiful old bull will represent a lot of memories and a lot of good times. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome, girl. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Very proud of you. He is awesome. I love him. Well, I think it's like, 10 o'clock at night, maybe, maybe a little later. Okay, we got uh, elk all quartered up. Back straps, tenor lines out. Just packing up the horses, we're gonna throw the horns on. It's been a pretty darn good day. The show's normally called Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. But right now it's called Live to Fish with Ricardo. Richie, he loves hunting as much as I do. But I honestly have never seen anyone love fishing as much as him. I love listening to his stories and how passionate he is about fishing. It reminds me of the way I feel about hunting. For him to have the chance to come here and try and catch a brook trout or a cutthroat, I know it means the world to him. Chelsea provided the elk. We need some trout to go with the elk. That would be a nice combo deal. We'll uh, see if we can catch another couple and have them with their elk tonight.
my pal Richie catching that beautiful brookie was the final piece to a perfect puzzle. Another important piece that was missing for so long, the happy ending that Kelsey and I had been hunting for for so many years in elk country, was found. And although our so-called elk hunting lives felt complete, this story was far from over. My beautiful bride was heading home early with her prize, but Shane and I continued on the hunt for a giant bull with my diamond bow. But that's a story for another day, and I just can't wait to share it with you. To follow the Live to Hunt team, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To order Live to Hunt DVDs and apparel, go to livetohunt.com. Next week's previews brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week, I'm strapping you to my back and taking you on an emotional roller coaster, hunting a giant mule deer buck with my diamond bow. A story that quickly turns into a 500 page novel that you can't stop reading. If you crave the sight of giant muley bucks in your face, this is the show for you. See you next week.